right, so I wanted to show you guys the new gear that I've got for the month of October, and I told you guys in the last video, I believe, that I was going to start showing you guys the stuff that I buy throughout the month in just one consolidated video. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is, I believe I got this last week or the week before. This is a Lucky Craft Fat CV BDS2 in an Aurora black color. It's essentially a square bill crankbait, but it, it is a shallow diving crankbait. You can see that the edges of the bill there are a little bit rounded off. This is a really wonderful crankbait, and I'm having a difficult time finding the number two size, which is this small one here. I think this is only a half an ounce, two and a half inches in length, and a diving depth of about two to three feet. But it has a really wonderful wandering action as it as it's pulled through the water. So for those of you that haven't that haven't tried this lure, it's really great. So this is the Fat CB BDS2, and again, if you guys can find them, uh, I would say buy them up because I'm not I'm not exactly sure if they're making them anymore, but they're certainly hard to find as far as this this size, this two size, and the three and the four size. They have a different action, and they're they're more slender looking, and they're longer. Obviously, they're just it's a completely different animal. The other one I got is the LV RTO. This is in the 250 size, though. This is a larger crankbait. You guys have seen me fish with the LV RTOs for years. I really like these crankbaits because they have a really nice erratic fall, kind of like the red eye shad from Strike King. But this is a big one. This is a obviously the 250 size, but it has a length of about three inches and it's seven eighths of an ounce. It's really big. And this is in the sexy chartreuse shad. Lucky craft baits, as you guys know, are some of my favorite baits on the market. And this isn't any different. This is a really nice looking crankbait. Big. Get a look at it up against the BDS2 there. I also picked up a bait from Duo. This is the Duo Realis Jerkbait 100. It's a suspending jerkbait. It's pretty much like a Pointer 100, but this is the 100 size of the Duo Realis variety. And this is in a ghost minnow color. The head of the bait is a little bit more gold than the ghost minnows that I'm used to fishing with from, from Lucky Craft. They are competitively priced. I believe I paid like 13 bucks for this lure. So this lure is... 100 millimeters, so it's three and seven eighths inches. 100 millimeters is essentially four inches. And then this has a weight of 14 and a half grams or a half an ounce. And it has number five size hooks on it. Get that nice focus on there. You can see all the detail in this lure. You can see that it's kind of got a color shifting property to the sides of it. You can see it's got a little bit of like that pearl in the side of it. See the ballast weights in it, but it's got like three chambers here. You can see it's got another small chamber right here in the middle that has a small BB in there, and then there's another BB here and another BB here in these two larger opening chambers there. You can see that the color for the Ghost Minnow is definitely a lot more gold brown than that um, dark brown that you'll see on the head of some of these other Ghost Minnow colors. And obviously, I've already talked about it, it's got that color shifting in it too. I told you guys I got this probably at the beginning of October. This is the Whopper Plopper 130. These are getting really popular. They've been out for years, and then it seemed like within the last year they came out with a couple different sizes, and then they kind of revamped the tooling of them, if you will. But look at this bad boy. This thing's huge. Crazy lure here. Look at how big that thing is. The the tail section on, on this is kind of soft. Look at these hooks. These things are huge. Apparently this color is killing them up at Shasta. This is one and three eighths ounces and it's five inches long. This is a very, very big crankbait or topwater lure here. Very noisy, very noisy. As far as soft plastics are concerned, I picked up some more of these Kitek Crazy Flapper in the 4.4 inch. And this is Electric Green Crawl, and there's six in here. I've already talked to, uh, to you guys about these a little bit. They have the, that squid scent on them, so they are smelly. You guys haven't tried anything by Kitek. The plastic on these is uh, a little firmer than some of the other soft plastics that you're probably used to using, which basically means to me that it's gonna last a little bit longer. You can see that it's essentially a laminate. It's got a solid color on the bottom with some different glitter, and then it's got another color here on the top with some other glitter. Really nice looking bait though. Hope this is showing up well for you guys. I got another Kitek. This is the Swing Impact Fat. You guys should be very familiar with these. These are extremely popular these days. This is in the 3.8 inch. I think there's like 
five sizes. There might be more, but this is kind of like the median size. It's like right in between. You can throw it as a trailer for a spinner bait. It's good on the back of a jig. You gotta be careful how you open these clamshell packagings because sometimes these will come out on the top side. But this color here is called Sight Flash. And again, it's in the 3.8 inch. It seems when it's in the package like it would be too small on the back of a jig, but it's almost perfect, you guys. It, the size that's above this, I, I wanna say it's the four inch, like 4.4 or something like that. It might be just the straight four inch, I don't know. But the one that's above that, I've tried it. To me, it seems like it's actually a little bit too big. So this 3.8 this 3.8 inch is about perfect. And again, in the store, it seems like it's too small, but again, I'm telling you guys, it, it's perfect. In an effort to save money, I, I tried to move away from tungsten and move back into lead just to, just to see how much I would like it. And I guess I got spoiled by using tungsten and I really just hate using lead bullet sinkers now. So now I, I had to buy some more of these uh, Eco Pro tungsten worm weights here. And I use essentially three sizes. I use a 3 16 a 1 8 and a quarter ounce. And I got two different colors. This one here is the brown pumpkin. And you can see I've got 3 16 a quarter ounce, and then 1 8 ounce on the far left. And they come with four, unless you get up into the bigger sizes like the quarter ounce, and then they only come with three. As far as the other one that I got, it was the watermelon red. So it's a little darker in the color. It's got some red flake in it. I really like the Eco Pro, but I'm not a snob or anything like that. I well, pretty much, if it's tungsten, I'll use it. Some people don't like when the paint starts chipping off. To me, I don't really think it makes that much of a difference. I'm not saying that the paint will chip off of these. I'm just kind of making a general, a generalized comment that I don't really care if the paint ends up chipping off of these because I have bullet sinkers that the paint completely came off and I still catch the hell out of fish on them. It should actually go in this order from the lightest to the heaviest. And you can see that the two lighter ones have four sinkers in them and then the heaviest one has just three sinkers in it. I also picked up some... You can see the kind of like the theme that I'm going with here. I'm picking up like a lot of shad stuff with the exception of the of the hard baits that I have here. Now I have these swim bait heads. So I got one in an eighth of an ounce and then I got another one in three sixteenths of an ounce and then I got another one in a quarter ounce and these are all in the gizzard shad. I'll go ahead and break one out of the package. I'll break this one out of the package because it's a little bit bigger and you can probably see it a little bit easier. Dirty Jigs has some really good detail in the baits that they put out there. It's just a generic swim bait head, so you can put whatever you want on the back of this. So that's why I got three lighter sizes in the eighth ounce, three sixteenths, and quarter ounce. And last but certainly not least, I got four swim jigs from Dirty Jigs Tackle. I think they're all three eighths of an ounce, and these are the California swim jigs. So I got one in Pearl Ghost Shiner. You can see that color there. I got another one in chartreuse shad. It's three eighths of an ounce. So you can see all the all the yellow in that chartreuse in it. And this one's in phantom chartreuse shad. I picked this one up because I really like phantom chartreuse shad in the Lucky Craft Pointer 100 and the Stacy 90. So I picked I picked it up in this because it just seemed like a neat looking color. And then I have this one in what's called tactical shad, three eighths of an ounce. This one's just kind of like a Tennessee shad. So I'll go ahead and break all the stuff down that I got for you real quick. I got the Swing Impact Fats from Kai Tech, the Kai Tech Crazy Flapper in the 4.4 inch, the three swim bait jig head from Dirty Jigs, the Lucky Craft LV RTO 200, the Duo Realis Jerkbait 100, the Lucky Craft Fat CB BDS 2, the Riveter C Whopper Plopper 130, the four Dirty Jigs California Swim Jigs, and then the six Eco Pro Tungsten Warm Weights. If you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. That helps people kind of find this video and makes the channel a little bit more popular and hopefully we can make more videos. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram and or Facebook, I'll leave the links down in this, the description below and you can check it out right up here. I'm always posting stuff on those two social media outlets so you can follow me on there and you can find out what's going on in uh, my life and in the fishing world. All right guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it and check out my next video.